Most of us cook ribs in a smoker. Here's the rotisserie version inspired by Hawaiian huli huli. In the Hawaiian language, huli huli means turn, turn. Remember the hula hoop? And the slow, gentle rotation melts out the fat, bastes the meat, and crisps the exterior. The rub starts with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then for a tropical touch, powdered ginger and garlic powder. Finally, fresh or dried chives and mix these ingredients together with a spoon. I'm using St. Louis cut ribs. They're cut from the center part of the spare rib. They kind of look like a baby back. They sort of cook like a baby back, but they have the rich, meaty flavor of a spare rib. The first thing you want to do here is remove this papery membrane on the inside of the rib. Grab a knife and just slide the tip of the knife between the membrane and the bone. And using the back of the knife, kind of pry it up. Then I find the end of a spoon works the best. You want to just pry that membrane up off the bones. Is it absolutely essential that you remove this membrane? No, but it's a little tougher than the rest of the meat, so I prefer to remove it. Once you have it loosened, grab it with a paper towel, because it's kind of slippery, and just pull it off. Let's do another one. Now, make a series of incisions between every two ribs, and these will accommodate the rotisserie spit. Sprinkle the ribs on both sides with this ginger garlic rub, and rub the spices into the meat. Then turn the ribs over and season and rub the other side the same way. Okay, next step is to thread the ribs onto the rotisserie spit. So we'll come in, spit through the slit, back through the slit here, here. I'll slide the ribs down and thread the other rack onto the spit the same way. Okay, now attach the other rotisserie prong. Then to add an extra layer of flavor and keep the ribs moist, brush the outside with sesame oil. This kind of locks in the spices. We'll turn over and brush the other side the same way. I'm spit roasting the ribs on a Kalamazoo hybrid grill. The back rotisserie burner is on. It's an infrared burner. And I've also lit the outside burners. Take your ribs, and the socket goes in here. And then we come back out, and it lodges in there. And now we'll switch on the rotisserie motor, position the drip pans under the meat. Now to perfume the ribs with wood smoke, lay small logs in the fuel drawer. If this were Hawaii, we'd be using a wood called kiavi, the mainland equivalent as mesquite. The glaze starts with pineapple juice. You want to bring it to a boil and reduce it by half. Smash some scallion whites. Smashing releases their juices. Smash the ginger. And finally, smash the garlic. Once the pineapple juice has reduced, add soy sauce, honey for sweetness, brown sugar for additional sweetness, and freshly squeeze lime juice for a touch of acidity, and sambal ulek, which is an Indonesian chili paste to kick up the heat. If you don't have sambal, you can use sriracha or your favorite hot sauce. 
Boil the glaze until concentrated and syrupy. Check out the ribs. They look pretty nice, huh? And now start brushing the ribs with your Huli Huli glaze. And I put it on toward the end because I don't want all that sugar and honey in the glaze to burn. Close the grill lid and continue spit roasting the ribs for another 10 to 15 minutes. I can't wait. The ribs sure look ready. The way you tell for sure, you see how the meat has shrunk back from the ends of the bones by a quarter to a half inch. Great. What you want to do is loosen the screw that holds on this back prong, and then pull out the prong, pull the ribs off the spit, one, Two, cut the rack into individual ribs. Last of all, if you have any of that remaining huli huli glaze, just spoon it over the ribs. Okay, and for a little color, thinly sliced scallion. Can't wait to try these. Hmm. The first thing you notice is these have a nice chew. Unlike barbecued ribs, which are sometimes soft, you've got the sweetness of the honey and pineapple, the saltiness of the soy, little spice coming through with the sambal ulek. These ribs are utterly different and cooked to a turn.